everyone, it's Kelly the History Girl. Today we're going to explore historic White Hill Mansion in Fieldsboro, New Jersey and learn about some of its history. Come join me. The earliest section of White Hill Mansion was built by Robert Field in 1722. He built a modest one-and-a-half-story house. In 1757, Robert Field's son, also named Robert, inherited White Hill. In 1760, Robert purchased a neighboring house, which he connected to his father's original home to make a grand mansion. In 1776, Robert mysteriously drowned in the Delaware River, leaving behind his wife Mary Peel and their three children. During the American Revolution, White Hill Mansion was visited by military leaders from both sides, including Hessian commander Count von Donop, Captain Houston, an American Navy captain, and Commodore John Barry. Robert Field Jr., the son of Mary Peel and Robert Field, married Abigail Stockton, the daughter of Richard Stockton, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and poetess Annis Boudinot Stockton. Annis Stockton frequented White Hill Mansion and died at the home in 1801. In 1832, the home was sold to David Bruce, the inventor of several typeface styles. Other owners during the 1800s included iron manufacturer and senator Isaac Field and Joseph Mayer, who held patents in pottery machinery design and operated Arsenal Pottery in Trenton. Between 1877 and 1885, the mansion was used as a summer home by Dr. Andrew Ingersoll, who modernized the home by adding a number of Queen Anne elements. Between 1896 and 1911, the Crossley family owned the home. Archibald Maddox Crossley, considered one of the fathers of modern public opinion research, was born in the house in 1897. In 1922, Heinrich and Katrina Glenk purchased the mansion and converted it into an upscale German restaurant. They installed a full bar in the basement. During Prohibition, the Glenks continued to serve alcohol. There is believed to be a tunnel or two in the basement that runs from the house to the Delaware River, which was used in the illegal transportation of alcohol during that period. The home was used as a restaurant until 1992. The property was purchased by a neighboring chemical company in 1992. From 1992 to 1999, the mansion sat unused. It was going to be converted into offices, but that plan never materialized. In the late 1990s, the mayor of Fieldsboro heard that the company was instead going to tear down the house, and in 1999, Fieldsboro acquired the property to ensure its preservation. Since then, the Friends of White Hill Mansion have worked to document the home's history through research and archaeology. The group has held numerous events, programs, and paranormal investigations in order to increase awareness and raise funding for restoration. Some past residents of the home have not yet departed. Unexplained, Unexplained sounds, sounds, voices, voices and, and shadows, shadows have been seen and captured in the desolate halls and decaying rooms of this grand mansion.